Show you how to re-skirt one of my lures. Um, you're going to need a couple of tools uh, that you should have lying around the kitchen. Uh, first of all you'll need a pair of scissors to cut the skirt, a butter knife to leave the skirt on and just a little bit of super glue. You're not going to need much of that. So you've got your head, you need to work out the size skirt you need and you want it to be a relatively tight fit. Now that's the secret, it needs to be a tight fit. So I've got the right size skirts here and um, I'm going to cut them. So let's take your scissors and make a small cut big enough to get the, the tip of the scissors in. Push them in and you're going to want to cut it. You'll see where the narrow bit in the skirt is. I'm just cutting slightly above the narrowest part of the skirt. Now just cut as little amount of cuts as possible so you want long cuts spin it round following that same line cut it in a straight line there you go so that's your first skirt cut that's your underskirt okay now the reason why I didn't just go like that and cut straight across you'll see that that now is not a round cut it's like a, it's like a dome it's got that shape to it with the um, with the uh, the cut that I did there, you'll notice that it's relatively straight. And as we stretch it on the skirt, it'll straighten itself right out. So you do exactly the same thing to the top skirt. Please put the scissors in, cut around in a straight line, just like that. Now you've got your nice cut like that. So you've got your two skirts ready to go. So very straightforward, take the top skirt, you're going to put the top one on first, over the hook lock, push your finger against the hook lock and hold the skirt there, take your butter knife, push it in and just lever it on to the, to the, to the neck of the lure like that. Simple as that, it's on, then just work it up that way so it sits hard against back of the head of the skirt you can just push it around like that now that's why you want a tight fit because what it'll do is as it expands the the skirt stretches it on it'll make your cut nice and straight as well so that'll that, that'll that's the reason why you want to want to want a tight fit okay so you've got the top skirt on fold that skirt down so it exposes that second ridge like that Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Slide that skirt on, bottom skirt on, push your finger against the uh, hook lock, push your knife in the back, roll it on. Once you've got it onto the edge, hold it there and then just roll the whole skirt onto the back of the neck of the lure. Okay, and that's it. You've got your second skirt on there. So that's it, the two skirts are on. All you've got to do now is glue it on. Now, you do not need much of this glue, okay? So all you're going to do is put one dot there, another dot there, another dot there, and another dot there. So you've only got four points of where you're putting the glue. And you're laying that glue in the groove where the, where the back skirt, where the underskirt meets the back of the lure. So you're gluing that front of this skirt to the to this edge and then all you're doing with this one is folding it over and you're gluing the top skirt to the bottom skirt okay so now fold it down let it dry and then all you're going to do is trim the end and that's just lure re-skirted now the reason why I glue the skirts on, just another aside, is you'll get a lot of the skirts that aren't the same thickness all the way round. And what will happen is when you tie them on, quite often there's a big bump behind the lure and then the other one on the bottom, say, will be, be, be flush. I really don't like that big bump. So that's why I glue on my skirts on, is to get a nice flush finish at the back of the head. Because I feel with that bump at the back, that can definitely affect the way that the lure will run. So that's why I glue the skirts on. Thank you.
Thank you.